Ready or not, high school football is back. Yeah, Jack Doles, Larry Fergurski, Joe Alicio, Alicio was doing push-ups in the parking lot. <laughs> the rest of the Football Frenzy crew, they're on the sidelines of 22 games on opening night. One of the new features this Frenzy season is the Frenzy Feature. Jack Doles, he thought of that title all himself, and he joins us live from Jenison <laughs> with a special story for us tonight. Jack? Hey, for the record, Joe Alicio has never done a push-up, Brian. I promise you that. Yeah, our plan this year is to do more than just talk about matchups. We want to go deeper than that. We'll do that with the Frenzy feature. And tonight, we introduce you to the Halleck family, like father, like son. It's an old adage I'm sure you've heard a thousand times, and it certainly fits the Hallecks, who've created quite a legacy at both Forest Hills Central and Michigan State. When the Hallecks talk about family legacy, the conversation starts with Michigan State. We've always been going there, stuff like that, legacy, just everything to us. It's where Ty and his wife Jennifer went to college. It's where their son Tanner goes now, and Tate will soon follow. You know, Jennifer and I are both very proud. Both will follow their father's footsteps and don a Spartan uniform. But there's more to their story than footballs and chants of go green and go white. <laughs> This is a story about a couple of brothers living out a lifelong dream. Every kid wants to make their dreams come true, and the fact that Tate and I together combined made one, made it come true, is phenomenal. If you haven't heard of the Halleck brothers by now, then you haven't been paying attention to high school sports in West Michigan. Tanner was an all-state lacrosse player. So is Tate. Tanner was one of the top football players in West Michigan his senior year. So is Tate. Tanner turned down his scholarship from Grand Valley to walk on at Michigan State. Well, this summer, Mark D'Antonio called Tate and offered him a scholarship. Oh, I was pumped. I, like, just got the call from D'Antonio, and I called my brother right away, and he was screaming. And then I was screaming, too, because it's like a lifelong dream for me and Tanner to play together. The first person he called was his brother when he got that offer. Yeah, which I wasn't too happy about, by the way. <laughs> I mean, as a dad, I mean, I, I, I kind of knew... Uh, what was going on, but it was funny that Tanner had texted me just as Tate was telling me, uh, but that just goes to show you. I mean, these guys are real close. It's a bond that I, I couldn't thank God enough for. It's the, he's honestly probably the greatest thing that's happened in my life. Their love for family may be the only thing stronger than their love for Michigan State. On the wall of Tate's bedroom is a framed photograph of his father. He told me stories all the time about that. One story sums up Ty perfectly. Before his senior year, he made the switch from fullback to linebacker. He went from like first on the depth chart to a fullback all the way to seventh on a linebacker senior because he wanted to play. And they all thought he was crazy, but he had the grit to do it and he's got all Big Ten, so it was crazy how that story went and just really motivated me to just go there because I love my dad. On the wall of Tanner's bedroom is a framed photograph of his father when he played for the Chicago Bears. This one tells the story of the man's love of family. He told me it was one of his hardest days at camp, but, you know, the one thing he always has put aside time for is his family. So, I mean, he could have been dying, puking, you know, struggling after that long run, but he came right to me, picked me up, and loved me up. So that's just, like, the one memory I think about my, when it comes to my dad. That family feeling is what pulled the Hallecks to East Lansing. One thing that Coach D's always stressed to my brother and myself is, you know, they take legacy very serious here. So does Ty. While he's excited to see his sons be teammates at his alma mater, in the end, there's a more important legacy to be forged. I hope for my kids that they have the same ambitions that I do, which is, uh, you know, rely strong on your faith. Uh, I think that I want them to be good fathers. I want them to be good husbands. I want them to be good friends. I want them to make a difference. Tanner and Tate did get to play together a little bit two years ago when Tate was called up to varsity for the playoffs. Uh, as we have seen, Brian and Susan, these two are not afraid to chase dreams. Their big dream now is to play together on the Spartan defense.